Now I know what one or two of you are thinking. This looks like the place that Jack of went when he was going to see Endgame. I'm traveling the same route he went. Go check out my friend Jack of All Trades. But unlike Jack, I didn't binge watch through all of the Marvel films, mainly because I had college work. And secondly, even if I did binge watch through all the Marvel movies, I still wouldn't be prepared for Endgame. Because the stakes are raised so high and there's so many questions from Infinity War. Spoilers for Infinity War. When Thanos snapped his fingers with all the Infinity Stones, I distinctly remember it was one of the most devastating moments I've ever experienced in cinema. Half of the characters quite literally bit the dust. As God took them back and said, hallelujah, you're home. I just felt so devastated. I felt so empty leaving the cinema. I, cli uh, I cried like a baby for half an hour. So where are they gonna take it from here? It's going to be a three hour long epic film. I've avoided social media. Like I was surviving in a cave in the days of Adam and Eve. But all shall be revealed. And after today, you can give me all the spoilers you like. Okay, at a farm area now. Where's Thanos' weed? And before I go into the cinema, I think it's appropriate that this film was released in April because this could tie into Easter. Think about it. Our heroes are despairing that their other heroes are gone. And I have a feeling that they're going to bring them back somehow. By reversing the effects of the Soul Stone or Infinity Gauntlet? I don't know. But all will be revealed. On the trail we blaze. I'm not all enjoying. Just getting everything. Assembling everything. I love that joke that you made. <laughs> Take a wild guess what we're seeing, and then you say, "I, I hope it's I hope it's not Wonder Park." It's quite funny if you look at my tail. There's literally it goes like one film, two showings of Avengers, a different film, two showings of Avengers, another weird film. <laughs> it's like they've got to keep everybody happy, but they're yeah. mostly just. And like now they're movies. literally playing. I'll come and get your love. Yeah. We've got like a playlist of songs from Marvel films going. Other films. <laughs> I think that's appropriate. <laughs> Okay, Sam, I'm not feeling so good right now. <laughs> oh, oh man, me and my friend have just finished watching Endgame. And you you are not ready. I was, we were right, we're not, you are not ready. You are not ready. Not, no, shake that head, Sam, You're, no, they're not ready. They're not ready. You are not ready for, for, for this jelly, babe. <laughs> Guys, this is like the return of the king of superhero movies. It wraps up all the- uh, Guns, is a source. Yeah, yeah, it's it made lots of guns, and, and it's, it's set in space instead of Middle Earth. And I cannot spoil any surprises, but I will say it's epic. It wraps up all loose ends, and I don't think Marvel should make any more movies. Well, at least not in this franchise. I mean, if they're gonna make more movies, that, that's fine, but put an end to this saga, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and let me tell you, I hate to rub salt into the wound, but it made me feel so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, so say that again, son. We are basically walking spoilers. Yes, you can you can feed us anything now. We're in unlimited power. Oh. We can tell people what we want to do. <laughs> no, please don't spoil it. I'll do anything for you. Really get, no. get me coffee. <laughs> oh, hello there. Um. Did you see Endgame? Yeah. What did you think? Uh, what was it worth? <laughs> Everything. It was so beautiful. And epic! And to all my Stardust friends, they were right. You are not ready for this. Not even a Marvel Marathon can prepare you for this. This is like the return of the king of superhero movies. Just watch it.